Hey YouTube, Happy New Year. I'm here today with a very exciting update to my Winter Bath & Body Works Use It Up Project Pan Challenge. So I'm really excited that I'm here showing this to you. So let's jump right in, talk about what I still have in my Winter Challenge. Remember, I start with 50 items and I'll talk about numbers, how I'm feeling, etc., etc. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna start with my hand soaps. I have seven left. I have a rose water and ivy, the perfect autumn, crisp apple, cucumber melon, two coconut pumpkin lattes, and a pineapple punch. For shower gels, I have a sugar cherry crisp, twisted peppermint, pear berry, warm vanilla sugar, in the stars, aromatherapy love, rose and vanilla, iced pear margarita, sparkling plum pros uh, prosecco, blueberry, and for lotions, I have just one left in peony, fine fragrance mist. I have peony and iced pear margarita. And then I have some kind of random bits here. I have a sugar scrub in love, rose, and vanilla. And just three pocket bags left, one in flannel and two in blueberry crumbles. So uh, if you're looking at this, you might notice that it's been uh, quite a dent, or I put quite a dent in my challenge in December. I started off on December 1st with 50 items and now I'm down to 23. So something to keep in mind with that is during December, I specifically chose to focus a lot on minis. So I focused on um, and used up all three of my mini fine fragrance mist. I used up all of my hand creams. I used up all of my mini moisturizers like the, uh, the mini body cream and mini lotion. And I also have already started with my ice pear margarita lotion too. So I like really went ham on moisturizers in December because I kind of finally got to a point where I've just been wanting them more. So honestly, that is part of the reason why you see 27 fewer items, which is pretty unusual. Um, but in terms of raw numbers, that's what it is. So um, it's not like I'm going to finish this all in January. That's definitely not going to happen. My progress will slow down between now and February 1st. But I think that honestly, this is going to be pretty doable to use up by February 28th. So if you remember, my challenge is to finish up 50 items between December 1st and February 28th, um, really so I can get my stash more in control. I finally have felt um, for the first time in a while that my stash has just been kind of overwhelming. That's kind of an unusual feeling for me because I typically do a really good job with using up my stash and being present with it. But yeah, I just got to a point during fall where I just had so much stuff that I just needed to hold myself accountable. So I made a winter challenge. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about my progress. Like I said, I've really tore through uh, lotions and moisturizers in December. I also started to really tear through, um, you know, some um, like antibacterial products. Um, lots of um, minis, like I said, are gone. And yeah, so during January, I'm going to choose to focus on using up the rest of my fall items. So here I, you know, got my perfect autumn, my coconut pumpkin lattes. Uh, sugar cherry crisp, uh, twisted peppermint, I know that's kind of winter, but still, in the stars, I like to use that in winter. So yeah, my goal, and I'm going to make this a goal for February 1st, is to be completely done with all fall and winter items. That way in February, I can really get into my spring transition and just use up a lot of really fun springy items like my rose water and ivy. Crisp apple is amazing. I love that soap. Um, pineapple I can do any time of year. But yeah, really excited about, um, you know, stuff like my ice pear margarita, blueberry, peony. I'm going to use these up in February as well. So yeah, really excited about my progress, really happy about how it's going. And I'm really glad that I chose to do a winter challenge. So um, as you guys remember, I'm not doing any kind of uh, low buy. I just don't know what's going to happen with um, winter SAS because, you know, especially during COVID times with SAS, I feel like you never know, like, you know, what your store is going to have and what it's going to be like. So I'm just going to keep an open mind and, but also just generally be mindful of my purchasing during SAS and you know whatever happens just happens to a certain extent with my buying so but yeah my goal is just to finish up just a flat 50 items and like I said in December I think it's kind of a tall order but I'm really excited about my progress so far and I think that honestly I might be able to just pull it off by February 28th so again 23 items left out of 50 
Um, my progress will slow down a little bit, but oh, hey, Lana. Um, but you'll still see some really good progress in the next two months. Like I said, Happy New Year. I hope that 2021 is off to at least a better start already than the uh, monstrosity of 2020. As always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Yellow Brick Repat. I'll put it down below and I'll see you guys in February. Bye.